Hi everybody, so I just wanted to do a quick update on my Project 500 pan. Um, I've actually been doing really well on it and I've actually used up six products since my last update, so I'll go ahead and show you those. Um, the first thing I finished was this, ah, this Bare Minerals, uh, mineral veil and as you can see this is completely empty all gone um, this took me a really long time to use up I had this for a really long time and it was about time that I used it up and then the next two things that I finished were um, the Smashbox primer samples uh, I really really hated those things they really, they really uh, felt very dry, I guess you would say. I like to have more of a moisturizing feeling when it comes to my primers because I have such dry skin and these are very silicone-y, very dry feeling on the skin. And then the last, uh, not the last thing, but the next thing I finished was this Makeup Forever mascara sample. I got that in my birthday present from Sephora, I think, last year. And then the last two things I finished took me a really long time. Uh, one of them I'm really, really proud of. It was my first blush that I've ever finished. This is the Alme Wake Up Blush in the shade Berry. And as you can see, it's this sucker is done and uh, this took me for probably about four to five months to finish up it's so powdery and it doesn't show up very well I thought I liked the blush but after using it for so long I just I found that I I didn't really like it and I know why it was discontinued <laughs> and last but not least this Revlon Illuminance Quad and the shade Skin Lights. As you can see, it's gone. Done. I was using those for eyeshadow bases. And, um, it really, ooh, it really was, uh, nice. I really liked it. I have a couple of more of those quads, but, um, I'm focusing on some other things right now. Um... The main thing that I have been using for my base every day is this um, champagne um, highlighter. I get, well, it's not really a highlighter. It's an eyeshadow base. It's from the Ulta kit that I got around Christmas time. And then another thing that I have been using and I'm trying to use up is this eyebrow kit from Wet n Wild. I've had this thing forever. These take me about three years to finish. And I've had this one probably about two and a half. So I probably have about six months worth of product in there left still. Um, and I, I still have two more. So <laughs> hopefully it doesn't take me a whole six years to use that up. And then the next thing I've been using and um, is the e.l.f. Complexion Perfection. I know it's not called that now, it's called something else. But as you can see, I hit pan on it. And I've only been using this since the beginning of... I know, since the middle of January. And, um, you hit pan on these things really fast. They, these things, they hit pan like after a week and... I barely, I barely even touch this stuff, and it goes whoosh, flying around everywhere. And the next thing that I have been using is this um, uh, Mineral Glow Pearls by Physicians Formula. As you can see, I hit major pan on this. This is probably, I'm hoping this will be gone within the next couple of months. Um... Just because I've had it for so long. I really like that stuff. And I may repurchase in the future. But I have so many other makeups. That I need to use those first. And then. Um, another thing that I have been using. Is this 
CoverGirl True Magic Primer. And honestly, I really, really hate this stuff. It doesn't... For one thing, you can't... I mean, I hit pan on this in like two days. This is probably about a week's worth of usage on it. And I don't use very much. And I, I have to use my fingers because that little sponge thing that came with it was gross and nasty. So, um, I just... I don't like this stuff, but I'm still going to use it up. It's not going to take me very long. And then another thing that I've been trying to use up is this Lorac um, Behind the Scenes Primer. Um, I have another one of these. This is the one that came with my Lorac Pro. So um, I'm going to be using that. And then I'm trying to use up this mascara sample. This is the one that came with my uh, Full Exposure Palette. Um, so I'm trying to get that one done and, um, so that's what I'm working on at the present time and, um, I'll be showing you what my, what palettes I'm working on in my next video. I'm going to be doing an update on my Pan That Palette Challenge, so stay tuned for that video and thank you for watching.